So hello guys, welcome back to my vlog. So today I am here to share with you my experience kung paano mapapapreserve yung mga buhay ng roses. So ito guys, nakatatlong gamit na tong rose na to. Pero mukha pa rin siyang fresh look. Yan, di ba? So paano ko na preserve yung kanyang na paano ko napahaba yung kanyang buhay kasi normally di ba yung rose mabilis mamatay. So yan, tingnan niyo guys, mukha pa siyang fresh. So this is my favorite flower. Uh, I'll, this, and this is also my favorite color, peach. So, yan guys. So, first is, uh, you just need to get a pair of scissors. Then, uh, find the end of the stem. And then, we, we you need to cut it. Uh, pa slant, guys, yung pag-cut. Yan. So, yan. Ikakat na natin ng slant. Yan. So, bakit? kailangan siyang ikat ng slant. So, most of the time, kailangan natin siyang ikat ng slant kasi para masip niya yung water, uh, mas marami yung, mas malaki yung capacity na, na sisip niya yung water. Kaya napipreserve ko siya, guys, kung nakikita niyo, fresh pa siya kahit na nakatatlong beses ko na siyang gamitin sa dining room, in any areas of the house, for decoration. So, yan. And then, guys, nakita niyo, nilagay ko siya sa baso kasi nga, uh, syempre, make sure na yung, yung water niyo din is clean. And then also, another secret para ma-preserve niyo yung buhay is pwede niyo ding lagyan ng Clorox, counting Clorox, yung water. Okay, so that's the best part, guys. Para kasi yung purpose kung bakit nilagyan ng Clorox, Clorox is to kill the bacteria. And eto guys, yung ginagawa ko ngayon is kung gusto niyo magtanim Uh, gusto nyo itanim yung rose, so yan, so puputulan nyo ng dahon. And then also just the same as what I did, yung ikakat mo din yung end ng paslant. So yun, so yun, yung mga hindi na, yung mga namatay na na bulaklak na pag nakikita nyo na for example, uh, matigas, I mean, the stem is hard, so you can plant it kasi yun, ibig sabihin matured na yun siya. So uh, normally, uh, roses is planted using the stem uh, so you can do it also that way and then now guys uh, I am uh, doing the same is cutting it slant slantly para mas uh, makaabsorb siya ng water kasi that's the most important thing when it came to flower so yan guys natapos ko na yung actually yan so yan pa slant siya dapat so make sure Remember, always remember, you need to cut its slant. So, ngayon guys, uh, ito gagamitin ko na ito pang apat na for decoration. But you can see, it's very fresh. Uh, the flowers was so fresh. Uh, makakatipid ka pa. And then, it, uh, it's so good uh, to have fresh flowers because it can remove stress and uh, make the environment more lively so just like this it's still uh, young but you can see na yun nga uh, may capacity pa siya na mag bumuka guys so yan so yan ikakat nyo lang yung end ng stem tas then place it in the uh, glass with water So, yun. And then, i yan. So, ilagay mo lang siya. So, make sure lang din na hindi siya nagsisiksikan kasi para makakahinga din siya. So, yun yung pinaka-importante, guys. Na yun nga. Uh, bigyan nyo din siya ng space para makahinga. In order for it to uh, grow, continue growing. Uh, kahit na para mag-bloom, kumbaga. Parang tayo, kailangan din natin mag-grow interiorly and uh, syempre, physically. Yan. So, kanoon din ang mga plants. Uh, so, kailangan din nilang maalagaan. So, yun. So, yun. Kailangan din nila ng love and care just like what we do in our family, in the things for the people around us. So, the plants are also like that. So, yan. 
So, yan guys. So, pwede nyo yung gawin sa iba't ibang klase ng mga uh, bulaklak na may stem. So, kung gusto nyo i-preserve yung buhay, ikat nyo lang yung kanyang uh, dulo ng stem ng paslant para mas masisip nya yung water. And then, you can also, uh, like for example, um, pag mamatay na yung bulaklak, pwede mo siyang ikat, tapos ipitin mo sa mga libro, and then you can use it for your uh, bookmark or what. O di kaya, you can place it uh, in your bed, you can scatter it in your, uh, on top of your bed. Uh, for decorations or in the centerpiece, in the table decoration, you can use it also. Uh, you can use this many in many ways uh, and you can save money because of not being able to buy anything but you were able to use what you have. Um, then also it's eco-friendly kasi nga... Uh, the same time you're taking care of the environment not just throwing or throwing but you know we try to preserve things so that uh, uh, we can also help the environment maximize the use of anything so you even the stem so you can also possibly plant it since ngayon it's pandemic uh, uso yung plantito at plantita why not try if it's possible, di ba? So, yan guys. So, uh, itong leaves, flowers na to, you, so you can make, yun nga, may, pwede nyong ipitin sa libro nyo uh, for uh, dry, dry, dry arrangement naman. So, di ba? So, you can do many things with just, uh, with this, hindi lang yung parang uh, once you finish doing it, parang pag katapos ang gamitin, so itatapon na yun. So, ito na guys, uh, natapos ko na siyang gawin. As you can see, uh, na-amaze talaga ako dito kasi, yeah, look, it's so fresh. At saka, nag, mas nag-bloom pa yun. Yan guys, yan. Yan na yung itsura. So, uh, I placed it in the, the table as a centerpiece. So nice, right? Uh, so it looks like that before. And then it becomes more lively. Just like this one. Look, it's so good. So that's it, guys. So yun, kung nagtitipid ka. So make sure to make good use of what you have at home. So, it is also uh, part of poverty in, especially now, pandemic, na walang trabaho, ganyan. So, you can make good use of what you have in the garden, in your backyard, and in everything. So, look. So, it's very simple, but you know, it adds life. Uh, so, that's the most important thing. Okay, so we're done. So, ayan guys, uh, after how many days na nilagay natin ito sa dahil ng ilus na nalantan.
touch the flower. Da, 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 da.